Every year, there are thousands of veterans that make the transition from the military to the private sector. These men and women come from various branches from within the U.S. military, changed individuals in one way or another. Here are some of their stories on where they started and where they plan on going. Uh, my name is Josh Nozick. I was a Lance Corporal of the United States Marine Corps, June 2005 to June 2010. I'm Maria Corian. Um, I was in the United States Navy and I was an airman, E3, 2011 till 2013. Alright, my name is Christopher Campos. I was an E5 in the United States Navy. I joined in 2005 and I separated in 2013. My name is Brandon Kelly, and I was in the Army from August 2005 to August 2011. Uh, the reason I joined the Army was uh, growing up, I was always fascinated with helicopters, and basically I joined because I knew that was going to be the quickest way to get into aviation. Uh, I joined because I was fascinated with aviation, and... I wanted to be able to work on planes and know how they worked. And I didn't want to go to college at the time because I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. What led me to join the military was, you know, pretty much just my family. Um, my dad was in Vietnam. Uh, my uncle was in Vietnam. My grandpa was in World War II. So, I mean, it was just in my blood. Um, it pretty much what I knew what I was going to do ever since I was little. It was just a matter of picking a branch. And then I just, you know, fell towards the Marines. Mostly for school, um, and what I expected to gain was, I don't know, just something different. Uh, I wanted to travel, do something different from like my outside normal life in Arizona. Um, when I separated, I um, was unemployed for a couple months, and then I got a job, or actually it's a work study, because I'm going to school as well. Uh, working at an Everett Vet at the Everett Veteran Center. It's a counseling center that helps veterans uh, cope with. Or they provide counseling for PTSD, military sexual trauma, um, marriage counseling, and bereavement counseling. Uh, when I got out, um, I started going to school. I used the GI Bill, and I got my associate's degree. And then after that, I uh, started flying helicopters for a little bit, and now. I am a management trainee at the Hertz Corporation. Um, well, I definitely went back to school, and honestly, it just, uh, it was a weird transition, that was for sure, um, back from the civilian life, trying to find a job and everything, but uh, now I'm just working um, and going back to school, which the Navy's paying for. Uh, after I was finished with the military, uh, they had actually just came out with the post-9-11 GI Bill and discovered that they were offering a lot of uh, aviation uh, benefits as far as uh, flight school, uh, specifically with the helicopters. They'd had fixed wing stuff for a while, but uh, just introducing the uh, helicopter uh, aviation benefits really kind of drove me to go into that direction. My plans for the future um, and where I see myself in the next decade, um, I just plan on being successful in whatever I'm doing. Uh, I just recently got my flight instructor rating in uh, helicopters and I would like to eventually uh, s start my career in aviation flying helicopters. I plan on uh, finishing uh, school and then hopefully getting a job in the field of my schooling and or just any job that can provide. Oh, uh, let's see. Well, I definitely want to finish school. That's for sure. And then hopefully be able to find a career within, like, my major. I don't know if I want to continue and, like, go into engineering or what exactly. Yeah, I'd say the biggest thing that opened my eyes is, you know, a lot of people think that, you know, we were there in Afghanistan. Some people think we weren't getting anything done. Some people think we were there and people didn't want us there. When the truth is, um, you know, the Afghan people, they, the ones that worked with us while we were there, they wanted us there because they were afraid for their lives. They did need our protection. They did need our help protecting themselves. And so they appreciated our presence. Now, 
obviously there are some that did not, but you know it's it's going to be the same no matter where you go, whatever you're doing. There's going to be some opposition to whatever it is you're trying to achieve, and so I, I found that there are a lot of general concepts and just life in general that actually transferred over that a lot of people didn't realize, uh, as far as that goes. Uh, my views about the world changed. You know, um, when I deployed, you know, I saw uh, a lot of different things, uh, different sides of, of people and, and the world and, and, you know, it's not all kosher everywhere. Uh, yes, because during my time I was able to see a lot of different cultures and places to see what the world was like, so it's not just my views, it was actually what was going on, so. So looking back um, at my military service, uh, I think it has a positive outlook uh, on my life. Yeah, I would say that, definitely. I've definitely learned a lot in uh, my life experiences. I've done stuff that I never would have probably done if I just stayed in Arizona and never joined. Uh, I absolutely consider my service in the military uh, as having a positive impact on my life, uh, mostly because you know, it's, it's given me so many opportunities as a veteran, um, with school, uh, with pursuing my careers and my dreams. Uh, uh, absolutely. Because um, I joined when I was 18. Even though I was an adult, I was still a child. Mm -hmm. So I grew up and made me who I am today, you know, self-sufficient. Uh, I feel like it's contributed a lot. It pretty much made me who I was, uh, or who I am today, because... I went in at such a young age and, you know, it matured me a lot, taught me a lot about life, um, discipline, loyalty, all that stuff. Cool. To someone thinking about joining the military, uh, whatever branch it is, I would say, you know, try your hardest, make sure it's what you really want to do. It's definitely a change of lifestyle. Um, you know, work hard at what you want and if it's really what you want, then you'll get it. Uh, I would definitely encourage them, especially with the benefits and the economy the way it is now. Uh, the benefits are absolutely amazing, um, but I would not, I would never encourage somebody to join solely for the benefits. I think that there's definitely something inside of a person that can truly uh, make or break them in the military. And I think it's a very prideful thing to be, to serve our military. And educate yourself, absolutely educate yourself before you join. Um, that that would be my advice to somebody wanting to join. Uh, you have to keep an open mind, that's for sure. Some things, I guess, like your expectations, um, I don't know, like, I'd say go for it, but I definitely would say you just have to keep an open mind because it's, you want to have, you have expectations of what it is and you, what you see on TV or like in movies and it's, mm -hmm. it's completely different from all of that. Uh, a lot like Maria, uh, keep an open mind. Uh, it's nothing like the movies. So if you want to join because of the movies, don't do it because that's dumb. It's very rewarding. It's also very hard um, mentally and physically. And, yeah, keep an open mind because you're going to meet a lot of different people from all over the country and world. And it's very different. Yeah, I... I truly believe that for the right person, you know, the military is is a good option uh, to advance yourself, your career, your goals.